today we're going to learn how to set up your worm farm so it's pretty simple but I just wanted to, to go through everything because when I was looking to set up my own I found that there was a lot of information that I was had to sift through and I want to make everything as easy as possible for you guys so first of all you'll need a worm farm itself so there are a lot of different options on the market so for me I'm actually using a second-hand worm farm so there's actually quite a few people as people move on they get different compost bins they get bigger worm farms so there are actually quite a few out there that you can get secondhand so um, I just chatted to my local community garden and they had a whole variety that they were literally good giving away to good homes you can buy them from Bunnings and you're a local hardware store or you can also go to the compost Post Revolution website and um, your local council in Australia will actually subsidize the cost of getting a worm farm so mine is pretty simple it is just three levels um, just big trays pretty much so what will happen is one of the um, trays will become the kind of the home level for the worms which is where they'll kind of nest and they'll breed the bottom level will be where all of the castings so their poo and their wee will be collected and then eventually, to start with, I'll feed them in the middle level and then eventually when they kind of grow and they eat enough food, then they'll go into the top level and I'll put some food there as well. So generally you get the castings or kind of the good stuff, the juicy, delicious um, poo every four to five months, depending on the size of your worm farm, how happy they are and how much food they're eating. So there are a lot of variables. It's really difficult to kind of give a blanket rule. So it's all about just looking at your worm farm and then working out like what's going on and how they are. So that is kind of everything about the worm farm, what you can feed your worm farm. It really varies and for me I'm going to be doing a lot of experimenting to start with but I think the most important thing is to remember is that when you first of all put your worms in there you don't want to overwhelm them with too much food. So we just need to be giving them little bits and kind of building it up so that eventually they'll eat about three to four kilos of food waste a week but to start with I'm only going to give them a couple of small things here and there um, just so they kind of start to get used to it, find themselves at home and then we'll build it up from there so the things that you can give to your worms well it's quite a lot actually so primarily food scraps so kind of all of your fruit and veggie scraps they don't really like citrus and onions too much so I wouldn't be giving them those when you can avoid it just pop those in a compost bin um, and then they also like coffee grounds and tea bags but just going back to the um, food scraps what you should be doing is you should just chop them up nice and small for them especially when they're starting out just because they'll get through it a little bit quicker and if you're giving them kind of I don't know whole pieces of cake or I don't know big whole carrots for example it's gonna take them a long time to break that down and we just want to make it as easy for them to start with as possible you can also give them some cardboard so primarily to start with we're going to put in some really thick cardboard in there just to create a little bit of a bed for them but what you can do is give them some kind of like small pieces of cardboard and some brown paper and newspaper as well they absolutely love just if you want to kind of make them a little bit more at home you need to create a nice and moist environment so you need to kind of add some water to the paper before you actually pop it in just because it'll make their home a little bit more moist and then everybody a lot more happy so that's we've covered so far everything that you will how to get a worm farm we've covered what you can feed your worms how to kind of set it up oh no we haven't so let's do that now